Hi, it's Mary. Welcome to another video. I'm going to show you how I created this Ice World painting, which is one of my favourites. This was inspired by a picture that was in this particular encyclopedia that I had when I was a child. Um, I bought it off eBay a couple of years ago, and this is the painting that I'm talking about. I've loved this painting since I was a young child, and I've always wanted to recreate it. I saw a video by Molly's Artistry and I'll link it below and she used a Dutch pouring technique and recently I've been doing a lot of acrylic pouring um, experiments and I saw her video and I was instantly like oh my god this is the technique I need to create the ice cave. So it's used um, with acrylic paint mixed with Floetrol and a bit of water and you begin by putting down like a black base. Then I mixed up some white, pale blue and silver paint and you basically just kind of sprinkle it around the outsides of the painting and then you're going to use a hairdryer to kind of blow that around and the effect of this technique is just incredible and it really does look like you've spent absolutely hours painting all these little details when actually all you've done is dump some paint down and blow it around and this was the first time I'd ever done this technique and the paint was a little bit on the thick side so if I do this again I will definitely make it a bit thinner but once you've got all that paint down in the corners, you can just blow it around so it covers the area that you want it to. Now, I wanted this to be kind of 360 degree cave, a bit like the original painting was. Um, but you can just do it at the bottom if you'd rather do that. Once you've done the bit with the hairdryer, you can just kind of go in and correct the edges with a straw or just with your mouth. And if there's any bits that you don't like, you can just put a little bit more of the fluid paint on the top and blow it around or move it around and just fiddle with it until it looks like something like what you're after. Um, my straw had rolled away there because this desk isn't level. So this isn't a huge canvas, but I can just see how this would be amazing if you did it on a bigger scale. But it was just so much fun to create and the effect is just extraordinary. Um, I fiddled for absolutely ages and um, getting little bits out of the paint and just adding bits and then deciding I didn't like them and just going back in particular areas. This particular corner, there was a bit too much solid blue, so I just went in with a couple of uh, different paints and just started blowing things around again. I think I had a little bit too much paint on this one and ended up putting some black in the middle and that's what the shell looked like. I then took a photograph of this and got it onto the computer and just using um, the uh, paint tool in Fast Stone Imagery, I just basically laid out several different designs of how I wanted things to look. And I was toying with the idea of putting a planet in, but I decided to keep it simple. So in the end, I just painted that in with acrylic paints and added a few little things in the foreground. So the ocean here could be solid ice in your world, or it could be water. It looks like either one. I think it would look nice with a planet behind it, but I quite like the simplicity of this one. And it's just my favorite painting that I've done to date, as I said at the beginning. I really enjoyed doing this and I have loads of plans for other ones in the future. So I hope this inspired you. Check out Molly's Artistry's video below, which I'll have linked for you. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye for now.